Hi guys, it's Neveda. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a spring makeup tutorial. I'm going to be starting off with my Derma Doctor Eye Souffle that I got from Octoli and I'm really loving at this point. It's part of my everyday routine. I'm applying this underneath my eyes and a little bit around it as well. Then going in with my DIY facial oil. This is the same as always. I'm just going to pat this into my skin and also focus it around my nose just because I tend to get very dry around the sides of my nose. I did my eyebrows off camera, but if you guys want to know, you know, my eyebrow routine, just leave a comment below and I will make a video on that. For foundation, I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is always going to be my favorite foundation, I want to say. It's just absolutely amazing. I forgot that I wanted to color correct, so now I'm going to go in with my NYX Orange Correcting Concealer and applying this to the darker spots underneath my eyes. I'm blending in the foundation with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This foundation is high coverage and still very lightweight, so I think it's going to work great for the spring and summer weather, which is another reason why it's probably one of my faves. Then I'm going to go in with the NYX Lip Plumper, and I'm just applying this onto my lips so that it can kind of set and do its magic while I do the rest of my makeup. For eyes, I'm going to start off with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer and just apply this on top of my lids and blend it in with my fingers. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going in with the shade Coconut Cream and generously applying this all over my eyelids just for it to act as a base and I also want it to come through at the end. My first crease color is Mousse and I actually didn't use enough of it for it to even be a good crease color so you definitely don't even have to use this color. And then I'm going to go in with Peanut Butter and this is basically the star of the show for this eye look. I'm only using this shade and I'm using it to kind of define my crease and also the outer V and all I'm doing is just picking up more and more product and intensifying the color until I get the pigmentation that I want. So you'll see that every once in a while I'll blend it out with a like, fluffy brush and then I'll just pick up more product and just do the same thing again and again. So into my crease and then kind of outlining the outer V. So after I'm done packing on that peanut butter color, I'm going to apply that coconut cream shade again just into the inner thirds of my eyes, just make sure that it looks light enough and then I'm going to blend it out with a fluffy brush. And then I wanted a little bit of kind of glimmer, glitter, sheen, so I went in with the shade caramel and applied it to the centers of my eyelids. It's definitely a very light color so if you want more intensity, you can just spray your brush with some water or some Fix Plus. And then I added some more peanut butter because I definitely wanted that orange to pop and then blended it out again. For eyeliner, I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in the shade black and I'm just creating a winged eyeliner. And then once the wing was done, I kind of had a better idea of how the eye was looking and I definitely wanted more orange towards the inner corner of my eyes, so this is me just applying more of that peanut butter shade into the crease, into the inner corners. Next I'm applying mascara, so this is pure fully charged mascara that I got from Octoli and this has easily become my favorite mascara. It is so, so good at basically creating volume and length at the same time. What you're supposed to do with this is kind of hold it at the base of your lashes for a few seconds and then move it up. And I hope you can see the difference between both eyes. I'm not going to be using any falsies for the rest of this tutorial, so just kind of take a look at my lashes and just see how voluminous they look and how long my lashes look because this product is absolutely amazing. As far as mascaras goes, this has easily become my favorite. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and applying this in all the usual spots. So downward triangles underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my cupid's bow, chin, and then also underneath my contour lines on my cheeks. To 
set everything in place, I'm going to be using the NYX HD setting powder in the shade Banana and I'm just applying this everywhere that I had concealed. Once that's done, I'm going to smoke up my lower lash line using that same orange peanut butter color. And I'm really bringing this down below my lower lash line because I really want that orange look to pop. After that, I'm also going to define the inner corners of my eyes with a little bit of shine. I'm just using my highlighter for this. I'm going to line my waterline with the NYX Wonder Pencil, which is kind of like a cream, almost white shade. And this is perfect for spring and summer because it really opens up your eyes, makes them look a lot more brighter, and um, using a black is way too smoky. Then I'm going to apply mascara to my lower lashes and move on to my face. I'm using the Bare Minerals Bronzer in the shade Faux Tan and using this to basically give myself an all-over glow and contour at the same time. So I'm applying this product underneath my cheekbones, a little bit around my temples, and then down my jawline as well. And this basically is just going to balance out that heavy orange eyeshadow. For blush, I'm using Justify My Love by Too Faced, and you guys know I'm not too heavy with blush, so this is just very lightly going on the apples of my cheeks and up towards my temples. And then, as always, I'm using Champagne Pop for highlighter, so this is going on the highest points of my cheeks, a little bit down the bridge of my nose. This is also going to go above my eyebrows, just because I basically wanted it everywhere that the you know, light would naturally hit. Also applying this above my cupid's bow for a little bit more of a pout and then on my chin as well. Then I'm taking off that lip plumper that I applied and I'm going to line my lips with ColourPop's Chi. This is the closest color I had that would kind of match the orange I'm going to be using. I'm using Pacific by ColourPop. It's an ultra matte liquid lipstick and it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I was kind of concerned about it being too kind of pastel and neon at the same time, but it worked amazing for my skin color. So I can definitely say my skin color and lighter, it'll look great. I'm not sure how it looks on darker skin tones, but this is definitely out of my comfort zone and I really love it. I think I'm gonna be wearing it a lot this spring and summer. So that is basically the makeup look for you guys. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please hit subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Also, shout out to Malia. Hey girl, what's up? You're always going to be in this video now. <laughs>